Hey, dude earlier had said something about gunshots. Like, I don't know if y'all noticed, but since I've been in here, it's been like eight police cars that drove by. Mm -hmm. So, like, it's good everybody laughing. Cause you know, they have to be for the soul, but mm -hmm. you probably should be evacuating. <laughs> <laughs> like y'all sitting here laughing, but I'm scared for my, I'm scared for my life. <laughs> Speaking of police, I, I got pulled over for the first time yesterday. I'm 22 now, I've been driving since I was 16. For the first time, and it made me realize something, like, NWA fuck the police kind of got a little ring to it. <laughs> like, don't get me wrong, I respect all police and, you know, cause it's a dangerous job, but, you know, if you ain't got nothing to do, you probably need to take your ass home. Right. <laughs> Like, this ain't even part of the set. Like, fuck off, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, I feel like they be looking for the pity and shit to pull you over sometimes. Like, so, so where I got dark tent? You know, I honestly don't want nobody looking in there, right? <laughs> like, so what if I'm swerving from lane to lane? I'm drunk. <laughs> what if I'm do call a friend and have him come over and get me? No, that's irresponsible. He wasting his head. <laughs> Gotta be smart out here, man. So what if I drove on the sidewalk and hit somebody? <laughs> who, who walks in the dark at 3 a.m.? <laughs> <laughs> you know, police arresting me. I said, well, first of all, I just did y'all a favor because anybody that casually walk in at 3 a.m. just kill somebody. Yeah. <laughs> Check the gloves, all I'm saying. Like, don't trust people in the dark. I guess, I guess what I'm trying to say. You know, my my grandma and my granddad got into a fight. Midnight, right? So I guess to say gas, she walked from her house to mine. And I'm like, cool. But if you if you think I let her in, you about as silly as she was that night. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I did real life fuck y'all in. <laughs> like, before y'all judge me, I just wanna let I just wanna break down why I didn't let her in, okay? You you're an elderly black woman, right? It's past eight o'clock and you're not asleep. You and granddad up fighting. And you just walked twenty-five miles to my house. <laughs> I said, Grandma, I love you, I really do, and I don't know when you started doing perks, but. <laughs> <laughs> Since you like exercise, and you welcome to turn your old ass around and walk this <laughs> And I want you to think about church all the way up. <laughs> but I don't drink no way, cause I, I can't fuck with the hangovers. Like, yeah, but I got to thinking, I was like, I always got to think about the worst places to have a hangover, and I said, it, it got to be top five, no, top number one, a plane. Because just think about all the shit that you got to deal with on the plane that'll make you rip somebody's head off if you got a hangover. Like turbulence, you know, old ladies with loud ass perfume, neglectful mothers with loud ass babies, <laughs> um, musty people that snore. <laughs> Snakes. <laughs> Long story short, um, I always take the train. Y'all be a good crowd. <laughs> <laughs>